Vaughan Williams' The Lark Ascending. Interesting fact, it was first performed in Shirehampton in 1920, but today was the inspiration for a project that crossed the generations. What the Lark saw has brought together schools and community groups to create their own work inspired by the famous piece of music. And a privilege for Gloucestershire composer Liz Lane, who turned the ideas into five songs. I sort of feel immersed in, in, in the famous names that have been around here, uh, Neil Vaughan Williams and, and uh, Albert particularly. Um, so to actually sort of be a part of celebrating his 100th 150th anniversary um, it's you know it's, it's really special and to work with so many different people of all ages and from all backgrounds those involved are from every part of the community this film was shown during the performance from creative age in Cheltenham an arts project for people with dementia we just have the most wonderful portrait of the Gloucestershire community. I don't think anything like this has been done before. Just taking the inspiration from a Gloucestershire composer, born and bred, his most famous work, but I think everybody knows the Lark Ascending, don't they? And just br bringing it all together into this. And, and, and we've just had the Gloucestershire community saying, here we are. And for those on the stage today, from the oldest to the youngest, there was the big moment of performing a world premiere in a world famous cathedral. Fun. Excited. I enjoyed singing with my brother Zach and my friends. What's it been like singing in the cathedral today? Well, it's very fun, but a bit nerve wracking. And yeah, it's really fun. Well, they're all songs that are a bit different to our usual ones because our usual ones are like Mamma Mia and This Is Me. They're more like traditional songs. Um, and well, because we're in like this massive Gloucestershire <laughs> cathedral, it's it's like very different and things, but I think it's a great opportunity. For the Three Choirs Festival, the oldest choral festival in the world, this was a chance to stretch its wings into the community, proving that music from over a century ago can still inspire. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Gloucester Cathedral.